friends, I'm Lisa. If you want to meet a Chinese woman or want to have a Chinese woman as your girlfriend or wife, as a Chinese woman, I will tell you from my perceptive how to do it or what to pay attention to. If you want to talk a Chinese woman in a West country, don't say, how are you doing? <laughs> no matter where you meet a Chinese woman, knowing a few words of Chinese will make them feel good and you can chat more. For example, you are very beautiful. Can I get to know you? Would you like to have coffee with me? So I teach a few words in Chinese. I saw some channel teaching Chinese. In fact, many Chinese people's Mandarin is not uh, standarded because there are four tongues in Mandarin. The pronunciation of those four tongues is clear so that we can learn better. You can say 你很漂亮 你很漂亮 你很漂亮, 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 我可以认识你吗? 我可以和你做朋友吗? 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 Would you like to be friends with me? 我可以请你喝咖啡吗? I saw a message ask me whether the current international political situation would affect a relationship with Chinese women. The answer is yes. In fact, the government and the people are different. When the person loves you, they don't have those problems. But there are indeed some topics that will cause arguments or make the other person unhappy. For example, our education since childhood is different from that in foreign countries. Most of the TV shows we watch every day are war movies about Japanese killing Chinese people. So most Chinese people don't like Japanese people. Although it is history, if you read too much of this kind of content, it will also affect your personal thinking. But Chinese people are contradictory. Although they don't like Japan and Japanese, they also like to buy Japanese produce. So if the Chinese woman you know have never been to West countries, don't praise Japan in front of her. She will be get angry. Even my Chinese nephew, who is only 8 years old, would say he hates the Japanese. So when I lived in China with my husband, we also had argument about Japan. At that time, I thought the internet all over the world was the same as in China. I once said in front of my husband's American friend that Americans are bad. I don't know why I said that. I, so I look back about myself. It's big change. Because the information we receive in China is that the United States is bad. I don't know now they changed or not. I said just before, when I lived in China, that time, not now. And we don't have things like YouTube. So we can't see different information and different point of view. So we are not very tolerant in our thinking. And we haven't learned to think independently, even if I say this now. If Chinese people say it, if they have not learned to respect different opinions, they will still think that I'm insulting China. It's not about insulting China, just to tell 
What I know, I told the truth. I love China. Nothing about uh, politics. I'm not seeing that Chinese people are bad. Chinese people are hard working and conscientious. However, <laughs> however, the education we received has led us to always think in a certain way. So when we go out to China, we should think more and learn to respect the different opinions. There is nothing wrong with being poetry trick. But we should distinguish between government and the people. If a Chinese woman still has the same thoughts as she did in China after going to West countries, there are only two results. One is that you are brainwashed by her and like her. You particularly like China and do not allow everyone to suck size China, even if it's not a politic. The second is that you changed her to treat China's good and bad objectively and understand the difference between Westerners country and China. Chinese culture is attractive, but respecting and looking at the good and the bad of different countries and a tolerant different views is sometimes a test for international marriages.